Okay, so let's say you need to edit your 3D objects. So first uh, you should choose your resource you want to edit from the resources tab in or, uh, or in the model. You can, you can do both. And then if you right click on the 3D area and select edit, then uh, two options will appear, simple manipulator or advanced manipulator. So simple manipulator is like this. So you can move, you know, like up and down or left to right, and you can rotate with these arrows. But if you choose the advanced manipulator, then you can also like scale it, you know, make it like larger or smaller, or you can also move, you know, like accept uh, X, Y, Z uh, axis. You can move by using these arrows, you can move the, um, the model, however, wherever you like basically okay let's say you needed to create 3d objects so first of all we usually ask designer to you know give all the model because there is no many option uh, in in synchro but you can create like small like boxes um you know like these basic um these basic shapes you can create but you cannot, you know, this is not a design. <laughs> this is not built for design. So you can just put some uh, basic shapes only. So how you can do that, just go to 3D here, 3D tab, and then choose the shape you want to create. So once you create it, uh, choose the object in the model and right click and choose edit for 3D subdivision. So let's say you wanted to, you know, divide this object. So here you can use a slice or user slice. If you use slice, then uh, it is just dividing evenly. But if you just use user slice, you know, you can move these arrows and you can make this part maybe smaller, this part is bigger, so it doesn't have to be even. So you can use users, user slice for that. In the next chapter, we will talk about equipment.